um, my name is Yoshi. So I'm from uh, AFL Japan. And yep. I'm also a team manager of a, a female national team, which is called uh, Mirais. Yeah, I just saw it on Instagram. We got a little Instagram page. I just uh, saw yeah. it. Which is thank pretty you, cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So we're mostly working uh, social media on the websites and um, yeah, Instagram and things like that. So we're trying to expand. Um, and so I'm trying to do a little bit of media work at the same time, uh, trying to manage the team, which is not formed yet, uh, still halfway yeah. there. And uh, hopefully we can play International Cup near the future. But That'd be awesome. um, this is going to be on the uh, AFL YouTube channel. Uh, so yeah, I'll cool. give you some few questions uh, to start off with. But can you tell me what's like to play on the Gold Coast Suns and how the AFLW competition is uh, treating you? Look, mate, playing for the Suns is great. You know, we've got a super, a super good bunch of girls, like, you know, and also Gold Coast Suns, you know, when the men are not as successful as what we'd like it to be. So there's a really, really good culture between the men and women. So there's not a lot of arrogancy. Mm. Um, I think a lot of other teams um, coming from the men being solely the main team and then bringing in a women's team. Um, there's, you know, a little bit like the men are superior, but at our club, like we're pretty lucky that, you know, everyone's equal and we get just the same as what the men get, which is awesome. Um, yeah. Playing in the yeah. AFLW is pretty cool as well. Like, you know, mate, like oh, I'm, you know, playing in AFLW, I was in footy in high So I'm stoked to be able to play it at my age, which is awesome. Yeah, and I'm really stoked. Like when I was listening to your radio, uh, your interviews as well, and uh, I had a chance yeah. to meet uh, David Lake, and he gave me yeah. a tour of the club as well. And then you guys kept saying, like, our club, our club, and that includes the men and women as well. And, um, so, yeah, I really feel that bondage uh, depends on the club, obviously, but I feel that Gold Coast was quite tight in that area. Yeah, man, I'm really lucky. Uh, Sam Collins, our BNF of the men's last year, I've actually got his compression boots at my house. So yeah. I use his compression boots. So, you know, if that's like the BNF play, can, you know, let me borrow them? Like that shows as much what the Gold Coast Suns are all about. Sounds good. So uh, yeah. when, you go on a, when you go on your office, uh, what's a typical day like for you? So I guess when you're looking at the women's league, you know, all of us work. So for, for me, I work a full day as a physiotherapist. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, so I've moved. I, I used to be private practice and so now like working on musculoskeletal sports-based stuff. Now I'm working with disability, so I'm driving around a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'll get to the club after a work day. I'll get to the club about 4.30. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you go in, you get either treatment, um, you do your prehab, you get strapping, and then you do your team meeting and then you get straight onto the, onto the field. We, you normally want to do also a little bit of touch, but I think getting it, getting there at four 30, I'm finding it really difficult to do touch. Mm -hmm. So the, the main thing is probably that rehab when it comes into the games, but it's pretty full on straight off the bat when you get to the club. Wow. Yeah. Cause um, yeah. that's the difference between the, uh, the men's and the women as well. So the woman's got to go full-time position and got to come in the club. Um, just like us in the AFL Japan as well. So Mm. It's quite tough to juggle around. Yeah, but you know what? You love it. Yeah, for me, I, I really like what I do as a physio, but I think football's really made me realise how much I love football because mm. you sacrifice so much. You know, like I might start 7, 7.30, the start of my day, and then I end up um, home at like 9.30, 10, you know, and then you start it all over again. So but I know myself, again, as being an older player, um, I'm really fortunate to be able to play footy. So whatever capacity we have to do, we have to do it. Yeah, sounds good. And obviously I saw your game yesterday. And uh, for yeah. me personally, you're on fire, 14 disposals and seven tackles. Uh, what is your strength? Like, what would you say that about yourself? Mine's probably more of my work rate and my intent and like my hunt for the ball. Mm. Um, I think really that's, that's the main stake of my game because it doesn't take any talent to be out uh, to work hard and to really rip in. So I'd say that's definitely my mainstay. Yesterday though, however... Being at the first game, I didn't eat enough. Um, I was a little bit more tired than what I would be. Well, I hope for next week. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. So, my, mine is more just ripping in. And, and I, I guess coming from a basketball background, um, maybe the ability to read the ball and read the play. Yeah, I definitely noticed that. Uh, I mean, on your profile, well, you're not the tallest person on the field, but you used to play basketball no. a couple of years ago. And I can see the fierce yeah. tackle going in and stuff. And, that really make us uh, encouraged for the Japanese team as well because we're not as tall as the Australian girls. So um, yep. that really give us a bit of a hope. 
So I'm, look, if you Google, I'm 163. I'm definitely not 163. <laughs> I'm more like 160, 159. Right. So I gave myself a couple of centimetres on the AFL website. But um, the reality about women's football is the ball's on the ground more than it is in the air. So being small means it's a lot easier to get the ball because you are closer to the ground. That's so true. being small, guys, doesn't matter. You're closer to the ground. You just got to be cleaner. Thank you very much, Danny. And uh, so once again, your profile again, you're, your nickname, that's, for us, it's yeah. a little bit unique. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your nickname? So my nickname's Spud. Yeah. Um, I guess if you hear that nickname, you're like, oh, you think of a big fat round potato. Um, <laughs> no, 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 or yeah. you're lazy. It just seems being either lazy or, or, or dumb. Like you're a bit of a spud. So you're, you're a bit slow. Um, but for me, it kind of comes from, from when I was little, when I was uh, about... I don't know, maybe six months or so, uh, I used to sit and stare at the TV. So if you're looking at that, so couch potato. Mm. So I sit, sit and stare at the TV and then it just stuck all through my sport because um, uh, my dad coached me. And then, yeah, just from there, it's just stuck. And, you know, me being Kate, it's a little bit more of a softer name uh, for someone like me. So Spuds just suits me perfectly. Sounds good. So uh, maybe near future, I might be able to call you Spud or something. <laughs> Mate, you can call me Spud straight away. Like, I'm all good with Spud. Like, honestly, Kate's, Kate's more of my professional name. That's my physio yeah. name, you know? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, you told me before your, uh, your physiotherapist, uh, you work yep. with disability and stuff. Um, yep. So you work on the Gold Coast, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So my off, our offices are based on the Gold Coast, but I do travel all the way up to what we call Logan or Brisbane, which is like within an hour, an hour and 15 away. So I kind of go all over the coast. Um, yeah, which makes it a little bit difficult with sitting in the car a lot yep. um, and then training. But, you know, we're flying in, flying out next week. So hopefully that'll give me the good stead of, you know, being able to keep my mobility up like I am now. So on the Gold Coast, um, uh, like, I don't know, just outside of footy, uh, what's good to eat or where should, where should we go if we ever visit um, the Gold Coast after COVID? Mate, the Gold Coast is a hot spot. I come from the sunny coast. Well, um, the last couple of years I lived on the sunny coast and I thought I would hate the Gold Coast because what you see from the outside is, you know, surface paradise, you know, a lot of clubs, everyone like full of Botox, big lips. <laughs> But it is the absolute opposite. It is great. It is yeah. so wicked. There's always, there's so many little like little pubs, little bars, little breweries. No, you know, anything really south of Broad Beach is absolutely great. Um, I live in Nobby Beach, which is awesome. So it's a little, uh, a cool little hipster area. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely anything down south um, is really good. And there's so many beaches. So the they don't tend to get too populated, even throughout the holidays. So you know, come to the Gold Coast, you know, just get a get, get tan. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm a, I used to live on the Gold Coast. Oh, sick. Yeah. Where else you, where else you like? Uh, do you know Madraba? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, real? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I used to live uh, up in a mountain, Madraba. So I grew up in that area, but yeah, you're right. That's the Nobby area, Brody. Yeah. I don't really go to surf as much though. Uh, no, I haven't been anything north of Broady. It's just a little bit too hectic for my liking. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you want to, you know, you want to, you know, have a little bit of a dance, I guess going there to the clubs is maybe your thing. But for me, anything a little bit more cruisier down south is where I'm at. No, I agree, agree. And uh, when I grew up as well, like I started going to Brisbane as well, a bit of, um, yeah. Yeah, the valley as well. So I thought that was. Yeah, a- if you're going to go out, go to Brizzy. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vegas yeah. all the way. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Um, have, you been yeah. To, have you been to Japan? No, I haven't, no. but I'd love to. Like, uh, I know a couple of uh, footy boys and girls uh, on the off season, they come to Japan. Uh, so I was fortunate to meet a couple of uh, professional players as well. But so That's I'm it. from Tokyo. I'm living in Tokyo now. Um, if you ever yeah. come down, like, you really got to enjoy this uh, nightlife and uh, a bit of a yeah. as well um one thing like what do you like Japanese food or what do you what do you like about Japanese food look it's pretty cliche hmm. but I really like sushi or like a sushi bowl like yep, I'm not yep. super cliche but it's good and I love a bit of a I love a pickled ginger Ah, I don't know, nice. is, it, is, is that what is it pickled you know yeah I really I really like it and I'm a bit partial to wasabi too Ooh. Uh, yeah just a little bit yeah. Um, but yeah, I know it's real cliche, but it's it's really good, and I, I imagine it's not as good as what it is over there. But Japanese mm. food here is, you know, the sushi. I really like sushi. 
I, I do like sushi as well. And I feel like there's two different meals. Like, you know, there's an Australian mm. style with a bit of a mayo and avo. And, uh, oh, Harris Avo. <laughs> yeah. You get, a, you get a seafood and stuff like that. So, yeah, definitely yeah. good to try when you come here. Um, but um, so, like I said, I mentioned before, uh, I am from uh, the Japan Mirai, which is a female national team. We are in a small group and um, mm. small girls, uh, they're really working hard. They have a professional job as well. Could you give us one advice? Um, I don't know, something to our girls, uh, to our audience? Yeah. Look, the main thing is if you're having fun, you're always going to play well and you're going to feel relaxed. So the main thing is actually enjoy it. Don't put too much pressure on it and just enjoy it and have fun. That's pretty much the, the main thing is if I don't stress too much and I just, you know, think about what I'm doing and have a smile on my face, you know, it, you, know you, you can't help but be successful. So just train your heart and smile. Uh, just you know, you know, get happy. Yeah. Oh, look, if you want to take a bit more about football, you probably <laughs> say like is, you know, it does not take any skill or any talent to be able to, you know, rip in work, your work rate, your intent to hunt the ball. It doesn't take any skill. Mm. All right. So if you can create that ability to work harder than your opponent, rip in, repeat efforts, repeat stoppages, then you'll be successful because the, the game of AFL is relatively simple. And also the women's game, it's still – you know, the skill level is building, but it's still, you know, it's still that work rate is still, you're going to get the ball a lot more and, and be better if you're at that level with that work rate versus someone who has that skill but doesn't have that work rate. Mm. I guess yeah, that's the one thing that we need to work on. Just keep working hard and uh, rip into the yeah. ball. Yeah. Have a crack. Like for us, ripping's like massive. And you probably, if you're watching the game yesterday, ripping in is like, that is the staple to our game being able to just not let them get the ball. Yes. Or get to, yeah. So, so last question for you. Uh, yeah. so this is for the yeah, YouTube channel. So uh, could you give us a quick message? Uh, you know, I hope we, I can interview uh, a couple of girls next time as well. But just for the YouTube audience, uh, just a message from you. Uh, girls, you know, I love that you're playing uh, AFL and uh, AFLW, you know, just keep on ripping and it's awesome to have you guys playing it in, in Japan. I didn't even know there was a team, which is awesome. Um, mm -hmm. If I ever get a chance to get to Japan, I'll definitely come down to a training session. Um, maybe you can bring some sushi for me. I can do that. So you can bring your A game and I'll bring some sushi for you. And Kate, yeah, that'd be uh, great. thank you so awesome. much for the interview and I uh, hope to be no in touch with you soon and uh, recover well awesome. and good luck for the next week. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Anyway. Delayed then. No, probably Bye. bad. Bye. <laughs> Thanks.